नमस्कार आई एम कैप्टन प्रकाश सोब वेलकम टू करियर गाइडेंस इन मर्चेंट नेवी लेक्चर नंबर फोर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू चूज करेक्ट स्ट्रीम और कोर्स प्रीसी कोर्स टू जॉइन मर्चेंट नेवी वी हैव सीन अर्लियर on board ship you have a team of about 20 people working who are highly skilled and trained and those 20 people are consisting of this team which is shown in the table there are two distinct department on board ship that is one is nautical department other one is engineering department and third department which is small which is existing is catering department but basically there are only there are only two distinct departments captain or master he is called as captain or master of the ship he is overall in charge on the ship and there is navigation department or deck department which is also called as nautical department which is consisting of chief officer second officer third officer cadet deck ratings boatswain able seafarers watch keeping ratings and trainee ratings so this is of your nautical department on other side you have engineering department which is called as engine department is consisting of head headed by chief engineer second engineer third engineer fourth engineer electrotechnical officer engine rating fitter ab's watch keeping engine crew and maybe trainee ratings and third small section which is there is catering or housekeeping department which is consisting of chief cook general steward catering rating and trainee rating here we will see the dgs approved pre sea courses for entry into merchant navy there are seven of them and which are bsc nautical science this course is of 3 years duration then diploma nautical science leading to bsc nautical science so this is called diploma nautical science leading to bsc nautical science one year duration and you can join ship as trainee nautical officer cadet tnoc third course is there gme graduate marine engineering which is of one year duration and there is another course be or btech marine engineering four years duration and then after completion of course you can join ship as trainee marine engineer fifth one course is eto electro technical officers course which is of four months duration and you can join ship as trainee eto number 6 course is there pre sea rating gp course that is general purpose rating course or famously known as gp rating course which is of six months duration and after completion of this course you can join ship as trainee seaman deck or trainee seaman engine and last seventh course which is available is ccmc certificate course in maritime catering which is of 6 months duration after completion of this course you can join as trainee steward trainee mess boy or trainee cook so these are seven courses available to join the ship and which are approved by a government director general of shipping 
which are conducted by many maritime training institutes. The courses are an integral part of overall planned structured training program for prospective navigating and engineering officers and crew, all courses are residential. So these seven courses are available through which boy or a girl can join ship. This table shows you when and how you select the course. And this is purely my recommendation. It is not below table does not show eligibility criteria of the course. So I am not telling here what is how you are eligible for this course, but this is a recommendation by me when you should join when you are having certain conditions, then how you should select the course. Okay, for your child or daughter. BSc Nautical Science. This course you can select if he or she is going to get 12th PCM, more than 70% marks, then he can select this BSc Nautical Science course to do and also you should have good financial condition. So your financial condition should be good because the fees are more. Then 12th PCM, suppose you are getting just above 60% marks. Then also you can do BSc Nautical Science provided you have good financial condition and have somebody in shipping for placement. Because if you are having just first class, you may find little difficulty for getting placement on board the ship. Number two, DNS, IMU, which is leading to BSc Nautical Science. If you are getting more than 60% PCM, 12th, then anybody even with a not so good financial condition can join this course provided you get selected or sponsored by the shipping company, genuine shipping company. So then you can do. And this is a number one course where all the students must target. Next course, GME Graduate Marine Engineering. Boys or girls who have done BE Mechanical. So anybody who has done BE Mechanical he can join this and even not so financial condition, you can join this GME course. BE, BTEC, Marine Engineering, 12th PCM, if you are getting more than 85% marks in PCM and if you are having very good financial condition, you can join this course because you are having capability of learning four years marine engineering as well as you are having capability to pay the fees because fees are in the level of maybe around 20 lakhs or so in four years. Then ETO, Electrotechnical Officers course, if you have done BE or diploma in electrical, electronic or telecommunication and if you have good financial condition and have somebody in shipping for placement, then you can do this course. Another course, pre-C rating, general purpose, which is called a GP rating. If you are not successful to do any of these, then probably you can do this course. Or if you have done ITI, then you can do this course, but you must have somebody to give you a job or placement on board the ship or if you have relative working in Anglo Eastern, then also you should do this course because the uh, uh, boys or girls whose parents or near blood relation is there working in Anglo Eastern, they can get placement in Anglo Eastern. There is a program like that. 
so that's why then you can do gp rating course ccmc course certificate course in maritime catering again same if you are not able to get anywhere here you can do this course but you should have job in hand or somebody in anglo eastern anglo eastern shipping company your relative so there is a chance of getting placement but while doing this course you must have interest in cooking and housekeeping if you are not having any interest in cooking and housekeeping if you don't like that work then there is no point doing this course ccmc course this recommendation this whatever table shows it is my recommendation to the candidates that how you should choose your field it is not eligibility criteria let us discuss some more points basic stcw courses are not included in that table of 7 for joining merchant navy because some people who are having some knowledge about this stcw courses and obtaining cdc after doing this course you can join ship so you cannot do stcw courses alone and obtain cdc and then join ship for making your career so that is not very correct always consult and discuss with your options with some expert on the subject and not with the agents so there may be some agents who are working in your locality and those agents may be pushing you into some course where they get maximum benefit and you may be at loss or profit that is not their concern so be aware of certain some agents who may be operative in your region many sailing mariners may not be expert in the field so sailors who are working on ship they may not be knowing updated information about how to join merchant navy they are knowing how they joined maybe few years back 20 years back 15 years back so current information they may not be having and all the field information they may not be having visit maritime training institutes personally whichever your location and wherever any maritime training institute is there nearby to you please visit it so you will come to know about the field and you will get some more information visit director general of shipping shipping companies maritime training institutes website for more information this you can do from your home and you can get more and more information about the field any stream you can select and join if you are sponsored if you are having job in hand and selected by company so do not worry if you are selected by company if you are having job in hand if you are sponsored by some company then you can select that course and join that course in any college no problem so select your course very carefully by looking at all those options which i have given you and in next lecture which is lecture number 5 i am going to explain you how to choose correct college or maritime training institute thank you for your time and watching this video kindly subscribe the channel to get new videos on the subject and do not forget to give your comments so thank you so much have a good day